Rainbow Day Camp offers kids a welcome break from the academics of the school year and also from the stigma of being seen by society as different. These four to 12 year olds are transgender. Here they can use the pronoun of their choice and meet other transgender kids and adults, including many of the camp's counselors. They're following their creative interests and they don't have this added stress or weight of being othered. They get to be their most authentic selves and build community with other people who understand the same life experience. The need for that community is what inspired Sandra Collins to start the camp two years ago. I used to say that the camp began out of sadness um, because of this experience, but I, a friend encouraged me to reframe it, that the camp began out of love, of, out of trying to create a safe space for my daughter and then other kids who were like her. There are more and more kids like her in the U.S., which does not surprise developmental psychologist Diane Ehrensaft. We expect a two-year-old to know, I am boy, I am girl. So why can't that also apply to transgender children to know it just as well as children who aren't transgender? Molly Maxwell says that's what happened when her child was a toddler. Once she learned to talk and have a voice, it was just very, she was very insistent that she was not a boy, she was a girl, and to call her a girl. A study released this year showed that allowing this social transition can have a positive benefit on young people's mental health. James Kaplan's mother doesn't regret allowing her child to transition. I had to mourn the loss of my daughter and, and, and at the same time welcome my son and get to know him. And as soon as he transitioned, he was happier, he was confident, he was, he was light. The 60 kids at Rainbow Day Camp this summer are certainly happier. I like to be who I am, and it's not fun to be who I am not. I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.